let's see how we can set up our title based on which page we are rendering. So I think the best place to do that is here inside of this function. We have this function here which will run each time the route changes. So this is definitely the best place to do that. So let's take this scope title and add it here like this. So now nothing special is going on. Whenever we change the route, title is going to be set to the same value. So the next thing I'm going to do is, is to create a service which will hold our title. So let's go to app and create new folder. Call it services and inside of this folder this service is going to be called bookstore. So app dot service bookstore and now function Inside of this function, I'm going to set this to dollar sign this variable. This is a good practice here to avoid little bugs. So this dot title is equal to an empty string because we need to set it. By default, it's not set. And again, we need to create the getter function. So get title is equal to function which returns uh, this dot title so we know how this works and now what we need to do is based on the page depending on which page we are we need to set this title here and then i'm going to read this title from here from my main controller so to do that we need to take this service and let's inject it here via dependency injection and now we can use it here so bookstore dot get title right so now we take this function here we attach it here but don't call it remember and because we set this function to this property title now if we go to index page here this is not property now it's a function so we are going to call that function here so the last thing that we need to do here is we need to create a controller for each different page and that controller is going to have that title so for me it's most logical you know if you have a one controller for each page that controller is going to uh, hold all the data for that page right so let's go to our controllers and create first home controller and here app.controller name is home controller and here function and we need to pass scope here and we need to put this function inside of the array so take the scope add it here all right and now on this scope i'm going to set scope.title and for home page i'm going to display rows available books and now remember what we are doing here we are just setting the title to this title property on the scope but beside that what we need to do is now to take this title and send it here to to our to our service right for this to work so let's take the bookstore service go to home and inject it here via dependency injection and again we need to add it here also and now we can say bookstore.title is equal to scope title. And of course we need to take the name of this controller and go to routes. And here we need to say, look, when you are on this page, then controller, load this controller here. So now if we go to our home page and refresh, we will see that we got this title, everything is working great. So the same thing I'm going to do for 
each other controller actually we can add it first here so controller is equal to and this one I'm going to call most recent controller so now let's go and create this controller here dot js and I'm going to go to home controller and just copy this go to most recent past let's change the name to most recent controller let's change the title most recent so now let's go back to routes I'm going to add one more here this one is going to be called most popular and let's take this name let's go to controllers create that file and in here again I'm going to copy this add it here change the name and change the title and again we need to add one more for free books so let's do that here let's take this name let's create a file dot js and here again I'm going to copy this go to free books change the name and change the title all right we did everything we need to do here now let's go to our page and check if this is working so when we reload home page is working most recent most popular and free books great everything is working so that would be all for this video and in the next video we're going to see how we can connect to the database, bring our books from the database and display them here.